What is going on, you guys? Time for another one of my favorite things. That is a product review. And today, we're going to be looking at the EKSA, the S30. Now, I've done plenty of reviews and plenty of talking about headsets, so I am going to be specifically looking at this from a trucker's perspective. We're going to go through all the unboxing, all the details, everything we can tell you about it. And so, really cool. Now, the reason this one is different is, you know, you've seen on-ear, you've seen over-ear. This is an open-ear. So, again, I'm going to be looking at this strictly from a truck driver's perspective, letting you guys know what I think about it. Um, I am not being paid for this review. This is simply something I'm doing. So, what is it? So, this is the EKSA. It is, like I said, it is open ear. It is not bone conducting. It is not corded. It is not on the ear. It goes around your ear. So we'll be talking a lot about that because I have not seen one of these. Um, you know, let's go into the tech specs here. So you got Bluetooth 5.3. Uh, it says 70 hours of battery life. Uh, 16 hours, that is music playback. You can do nine hours of talk time. Um, it has a feet range, it says, of 99 feet. So we're going to see if we can hear it at the back of the trailer. Um, some of the key benefits they talk about is it open ear comfort. We'll test that again. As you guys know, I wear a hat, I wear glasses, I wear sunglasses, and as we're driving, comfort is key to us. It does have noise cancellation, it says 99.9%. We'll surely test that. It says 70 hour battery life. Uh, like I said, said the connection, it has two base sound technology as an old guy who's deaf. And again, this is trucking. We'll definitely go in and see if it lives up to that. And also is IPX5. What does that mean? It is not rated for dust resistance. It is waterproof rating of five, which means light rain, sweat, you know, you flat betters out there, us flat betters out there when we get to it. So again, the price on this, 150 bucks, 160 bucks. I've seen coupons already on Amazon. Um, I'll throw the link up in the description for that. But let's get into and see what you get with the EKSA S30 open ear. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We don't let's see. You know what? There's a little line there. Just go right around there. All right, let's see what we're working with here. If I can get the thing open. This is percent to me. This is not a pay promotion. This is available. I think they're actually talking about these eventually being available in Loves. And so that would be cool if you want to pick one up. Or like I said, I saw them on Amazon. All right, now we're going to figure out how to unbox the box. All right. Hold on while we figure this out. Let's see what we got here. Top. All right, here is, okay, you've got that, you've got register your device, and a big old thick instruction book, user manual, warnings, precautions, yes, we're all submitting radiation into our brains, probably. Then, some new potato, nothing else in there. Okay, I wasn't sure about this, so you get, this is actually a, uh, let's see if we can show that there. EKSA. This is a little nice little hard case there. That's cool. One more case. Let's see, you do this. Unbox it. Here is your charging cord. It is USB C, USB A. Just charger there. Then you actually get this dock for it that it sits in. Let's see if we can zoom in a little there. A right, little dock that it comes in. Again, you can see this is molded. This is, you know, this is what you would expect. I guess, you know what I'm saying? It's not, they're not cheap. They're not the $400 and other, but this is one of the nicest carrying cases. I will give them that. That would actually protect it, throwing it around the truck. Then you have dual ear. You have one ear. This is, and this is the second ear with the actual mic. It does flip down, so it does not look like this is ambidextrous. It looks like this goes on your left ear, this one would go on your right ear, and there's no way to put this on the other ear. So, all right. All right, so this is, come, 
They go down in there just like that. You see, there's where your USB C connection will be, right there. And the headphones themselves. There is the power button to charge them. Let's see. All right, there's some shakage for you, and they come out. So, now I started shaking them a little bit, and they didn't come out. So, you have medium magnetization there. We'll go with that. But that is how, let's see, so that is how they're going to sit while they're charging. Um, if I was in trucking, I would put, you know, a little piece of Velcro back there. It's actually got a rubber pad, but like in my Peterbilt, I'd put a little pad so that they, you know, could set them there and they wouldn't move. But... Let's get into the actual specs and features of the headset themselves. They have now been officially unboxed. All right, let me show you how these guys work. So if you all don't know, again, as owner operator, I actually have to keep two phones because brokers and spam and dispatch services blow my phone up all day. So what I typically had to do was have one set of headphones and for phone calls. So I'm going to use these strictly for the bat phone, the work phone. But I'm going to go over the functions and features and how these guys work. So they do work independently. That's the most important thing. So if you were just wanting to listen to music, you could just use one headphone, right? And you see these repaired. It's got a little, uh, let's see if I can show you, EKSA branding on it. You see, it's, it's got the EKSA. This is your function button, right? So it's, you know, press it once, answer a phone call. Press it twice, same, you know, with much everything to hang up a phone call, you know, forward, music, volume, all of that is controlled by the function, and each individual headphone has its own function button. You've also got the privacy switch. You've also got the privacy switch here on the front. You hold that for two seconds and it'll mute the call so the person or the other can answer. But all of it is done through voice prompts. It will constantly tell you what it's doing so you don't have to worry about is it muted is it not muted it beeps you know hanging up phone calls but each of these they can operate individually which i like it's so like i said if you just wanted to do a little workout or even this microphone is so small that you know it doesn't really get in the way you could lean it back and you could walk around and get a workout in with those like I said they are sweat resistant so now what we're going to do is we're going to go put these through their paces while we run and we'll see and get an actual review and our actual thoughts on what we believe if this really is possible for a truck driver to use on the daily to replace the big headphones. Like I said, it's open ear. It does go over your ear. Let's see if I can show you this. There is a speaker in there. There it is. You do have... So you can see you do have the speaker in there. So like I said, it sits over your ear. I'll talk about comfort. And all that, but that's the unboxing part. What's going on, you guys? Like I said, we're back. This is a real world review, so I don't know how the audio is going to sound. We are in a truck because that's what I do for a living. But we're going to finish up the review and actually talk about the usage on the EKSA S30 uh, Bluetooth headphones for truck drivers. Again, they're not for truck drivers, they could be for anybody, but again, this is a complete truck driver perspective if you will and so i'm going to give you the full lowdown of what i think of using these things for about a week and what i will say is start off and again some of this will be nitpicky some of it won't um for 160 bucks i think like i said there's coupons there'll be a link in the description down to amazon what you get with this the build material of this case or the quality of you know the base that it comes with and you know like i said you can see that it's got you know little hooks for it to go down in there you know, the, the build quality is what I would expect for 160 bucks. You know what I'm saying? USB-A, USB-C, we're going to be nitpicky on the charging cord. You know, we have so much stuff plugged in. I like USB-C to USB-C, but good news, many of my other chargers work. You just have USB-C to charge it. But comfort is what they go for. Comfort with the open ear. And I'm going to be a full disclosure guy. This takes a second to get used to because you're so used to you know, the headphones that you have, where I have, that, uh, you know, they go they go over your ear or the ones that sit on your ear or any of those types of things. The comfort on these things is ridiculous, but it definitely takes some getting used to because, you know, whether it's AirPods or other headsets, you're used to being in your ear. So you're going to hear the outside noise, and that's the point. 
So as far as build quality, comfort, again, you I was out the other day walking and I just had this one in because I wasn't going to try and answer phone calls. Um, this is, like I said, attached to my work phone because, like I said, my phone rings and it's spam all the time. So as far as driving and being able to reach the functions, again, I don't have a whole lot of reason to go into privacy mode, but, you know, the button's there or, you know, the button to answer is here. You know, that is pretty cool. You know, all of them typically have some sort of buttons so you have to press your ear, but I never had for any reason to touch my phone. So I did test it when I was on a phone call. I walked all the way to the back of the 53-foot trailer, and there was no dropping the call. I've listened to music. actually sounds good. I said I got some sort of bass technology, true bass. And the music actually sounds decent. Um, is it as 100% good as having something shoved in your ear? That's all personal preference. I can't answer that. Um, I, again, because I can say what I want to, because it's my review, this case... Is very nice. It's a little charging dock and the lights and all that and the EKSA branding isn't in your face but it's there. I wish that this had a clamshell. Point blank I wish it did because like I said I have a little tray here that I tucked it under and that I could reach down and put it in while I was driving. That had no problems with that. One of the other things I guess I would say is again it's not it's not ambidextrous. You know the, the microphone has to go on your left ear so if you're going to use this for talking as it's intended, it has to be on your left ear, which in a truck driver situation is right by the window. So full disclosure on that, it would have been nice if it would have been able to flip and turn and whoopie doo. And But again, would this have then been a $300 headset? I don't really know. What I do know is the quality components, the quality of the Bluetooth, the quality of the sound, and dear Lord, the quality of the comfort. This is what they say. Because there's nothing, you see it on the ear, it just because it sits there, even when I have my glasses on and my sunglasses, it's not pressing because it's open ear. It doesn't have to be shoved in your ear canal where you'd have something pushed. I can wear this longer than I can wear my over the over the ear ones. And that's just not, it's not even close as far as that. So what I consider purchasing these, absolutely. If I wasn't going to bust out a whole bunch of money and I wanted something that was light, it's compact. It, again, it's a great charging case, great carrying case with the mold. And if you're not using it, you just put it in there, and it ain't going anywhere. So as far as the quality, check. Comfort, check. You can get nitpicky as you want, maybe. If you like, say, if you're deaf and hard of hearing, not having something in your ear like an AirPod or an over-the-ear, it's definitely a different sound. It definitely takes some getting used to. But as far as quality, would I would I hesitate to recommend it? Absolutely not. For the price range, it fits right in that, you know, what most trucker headsets cost this one's just a little more minimalist um again like i said we're to, i don't have to be nice i can tell you that you know like i said it's 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 you know, whoa, you know you can you can twist it turn it durable i could step on this i don't think it would break it doesn't feel it feels quality like i said i don't have to be nice this is not a paid review you know you can do whatever you want again hold its shape right in my ear super simple super easy so if you're looking for it, like I said, I'll have a link down in the description, but the EKSA S30 is definitely something you should consider as a truck driver if you're in the market or looking for an affordable Bluetooth headset.